refilming this video because the first one I took was really long and um, I have to edit on my iPhone because my computer is broken and if I just edit it on there it would be way too long to edit. So I'm refilming this with less books. Okay, so let's get started before this takes longer than it is. Um, so my first book that I have here is called Uglies and basically it's I it's a really good book me and my friend be read this together in high school and um, it's about this girl who lives in this world where when you turn 16 you get to turn pretty excuse if you hear munching in the background it's my mom eating chips but um, when you turn 16 in their world, you get to turn pretty and you get to live on the pretty side of the world. And so th this is about this girl whose birthday is late. So she doesn't get to turn pretty with everyone because she was born really late. So her best friend is on the pretty side of the world. And she is desperate to finally turn pretty and be with her best friend and reunite and stuff. And, um... Then, while she's waiting for her turn to turn pretty, she meets this other girl. She meets this other girl, but she doesn't want to turn pretty. And when it was her time to turn pretty, the day before Talia's birthday, Tally's birthday, um, she runs away. And now, Tally isn't allowed to turn pretty because the government, whoever's watching them, the government or whoever's watching them is like, um, you're not allowed to turn pretty until you find the girl because in this world you have to turn pretty like you don't have a choice and so the other girl ran away and now Tally is in the middle of the whole this whole mess and all she wanted to do was turn pretty and yeah so that's what that is about the next book I have here is called it's kind of a funny story by Ned Zizzini sorry if I said that wrong but it's about this guy who um, commits suicide but fails and then all of a sudden his life turns amazing and stuff so that's his story I actually did not finish reading I got to page 50 and I stopped reading it out of nowhere I don't know why but yeah um I heard it was a good book so yeah when I actually finish reading this I will tell you if it's a good book or not like a really good book the next book I have here is by a youtuber named Josh Sun Sun sorry I I'm really bad at pronouncing names but um <clears throat> um this is about it's called um, we should hang out sometime it's about um, him going up to all his ex-girlfriends and girls that he went on dates with but didn't work out and asked them why it never worked out because he's been single for a long time and he wants to know why but now in the real world IRL um he is in a relationship I think that's what I heard and he's happy and all this good stuff and I'm so happy for him next book that just fell on the floor um next book I have is called stolen and this is about um am I going too fast I'm really sorry if I am but this is about a girl who goes to goes on a family trip and at the airport she gets drugged and taken by this guy in the middle to the middle of Australia ow and um Stockholm Syndrome that's a One Direction song by the way but she ends up falling in love with the guy but at first she's really like in the first like 100 pages she is not letting up like she is like she's like she's depressed she won't eat because she's been kidnapped but then I guess she finally gets to know the guy and they fall in love but I actually don't know because I haven't finished reading this book either yeah bad habit next book I have here I took from my school library it's called 13 reasons why and by Jay Asher and it's about a girl who commits suicide and before she committed suicide she makes 13 tapes of about 13 people telling them why they were the reason she committed suicide and it is told from this guy's point of view one of the guys who are on the one of her tapes um, point of view and I actually finished reading this this is actually a really good book but it kind of gets confusing like but yeah it does kind of get confusing but it will tie up all together in the end but a good book you should pick it up I recommend it again 13 reasons why by Jay Asher and yeah some people don't like it but I personally did like it but yeah 
there we go next book this book I recently bought is called the night we said yes and it's about a book of second chance that love it's about these this girl and this boy who falls in love one year and then all of a sudden the boy disappears with no word just gone vanishes out of nowhere doesn't say anything to the girl nothing any and doesn't say anything to his friends and then he after six months of being gone he comes back and tries to rekindle his love with the girl and friendships that he left out on before he left and so yeah I Actually, this is actually a really good book. I still have to finish reading it. But look what my what my bunny did. Never leave your book out if you have a bunny running around because that will happen. I was really upset. I cried. Next book. So, this is the Bible. <laughs> actually, this isn't a book. Um, I got this when it first came out, obviously, because why wouldn't I? Um, it's the One Direction CD4. See, there's a CD, and then this is this is this is what heaven looks like. This is what heaven looks like. This is definitely what heaven looks like. Oh, he's he's so beautiful. Okay, enough of that. But yeah, I love this. I love them. Always have. Always will. Forever directioner, directioner, forever, whatever. Anyways, so the next book I have is called The Promise of Amazing, and I stole this from my best friend. And it was this is actually a really good book. I liked it. I love romance books, if you can't already tell. But um, this is about a guy who Grayson, and he he has a really dark past, and um, he finally meets this girl who saves his life from like choking or something, and um. He, fall, he starts to fall in love with her and she starts to fall in love with him but then she finds out about his dark past and um, she's debating whether or not she wants to still talk to this guy so I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't want to spoil anything the next okay these are the last two books I have good at timing but ah, these are my favorite okay so I'm gonna go on and on and on about this book, but this is absolutely my favorite book in my in the entire world. And this actually originally it originated from a Harris Harry Styles fan fiction. I'm already obsessed with One Direction. When I found out about that in fan fiction, I had to read it. Like, but I just before that I never read fan fictions at all. Like I just didn't like them. But then someone that I knew and then a YouTuber talked about it in one of their videos. And I just had to read it. And um, the story is by Anna Todd. And she actually, I guess her book became so popular that she turned it into a book. And it's also a series. And it's, oh my god, so scandalous. I just love it. I'm like, oh my gosh. The um, Midnight Memories, the album by One Direction, actually actually goes really good. Like some of their songs go really good with... Um, with this book um if you read her fan fiction you would know that she left like songs to listen to while you read her stories but she's a really good art artist she's a really good author and i really do recommend um people reading this book because i really do love this book this is my favorite book of all time and she does have a series and i i really want to meet her one day but you can tell that i've read this so many times just by looking at the creases like this is oh this is my absolute favorite like I just love this book like this book drives me insane but basically this book is about um, a girl named Tessa who goes off to college and she's really innocent she doesn't really know what the real world is like stuff like that because she's been kept in her mom's arms etc and when she goes to college she me her roommate has this friend named Harden also known as Harry in the original story and Harry has this really dark past behind him and he's really kept together in like a bad boyish kind of way I know really hot right and they start to fall in love they start to break down each other's walls and oh my gosh it's basically like the promise of amazing but this one is just rate this is rated R by the way Promise of Amazing is like rated PG-13, but this is rated R, so if you're like 12 and immature, you might not want to read this. But this is a really good book. I really like the story and the details that come along with it, and it's just amazing. It's a really good read. 
I always like reading it in the fall. I don't know why, because I read it in the fall when I first read it, but it's a really good book, and I suggest you read it. And here's the second one. I don't have the third or fourth one, but there we go. There you have it. So, yeah, that's my video. I know I haven't made a video in a very, very, very long time. I'm actually debating whether to make a new channel or not, so this might be my first video on my first channel or my next video on my channel that I have now. So yeah, here's my mom. And yeah! <laughs> That's my mom! Ignore her! And yeah! <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you like it, and if you do like videos like these, please tell me and I will make more and yeah because I have a lot of more books but this is just part one so yeah thanks for watching bye, bye.